as a quick reminder so we're all on the same page, this means labeling points in 2D space, not with the usual XY coordinates, but instead with a distance from the origin, commonly called R for radius, together with the angle that that radial line makes with the horizontal, commonly called theta. And for our purposes, this angle will be measured in radians, which basically means that an angle of pi is halfway around, and then 2 pi is a full circle. And notice, polar coordinates are not unique in the sense that adding 2 pi to that second coordinate doesn't change the location that this pair of numbers is referring to. The pattern that we'll look at centers around plotting points where both of these coordinates are a given prime number. There is no practical reason to do this. It's purely fun, we're just frolicking around in the playground of data visualization. And to get a sense for what it means, look at all the whole numbers rather than just the primes. The point 1, 1 sits a distance 1 away from the origin with an angle of 1 radian, which actually means this arc is the same length as that radial line. And then 2, 2 has twice that angle and twice the distance. And to get to 3, 3, you rotate one more radian with a total angle that's now slightly less than a half turn since 3 is slightly less than pi, and you step one unit farther away from the origin. I really want you to make sure that it's clear what's being plotted, because everything that follows depends on understanding it. Each step forward is like the tip of a clock hand, which rotates one radian with each tick, a little less than a sixth of a turn, and it grows by one unit at each step. As you continue, these points spiral outwards, forming what's known in the business as an Archimedean spiral, 